Hello everyone and welcome to my bold and beautiful today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Luna's awful response spawned by Poppy's history? Bold and the beautiful has Poppy Nozawa facing a hopeless Luna Nozawa, who wants to keep her newfound life and scathed moment on the CBS cleaner. But while doing so this week, BNB reveals commodity surprising about Poppy and Luna. Bold and the beautiful spoilers backpack spawns Poppy Nozawa riddle. So far, Luna Nozawa seems like an innocent woman who made the stylish of her parenting. But as the layers peel back, observers begin to wonder about her mama, Poppy Nozawa. Poppy's one of the several suspects that suckers see for the double murder on the cleaner moment. But that packerizing might make her look shamefaced to the characters on the cleaner. But for the observers, it could work in her favor rather. First, she'd not be that foolish to leave it there. But up most of all, Bold and the Beautiful offered up some suggestions. And these suggestions feel to point in another direction. BNB spoilers walls come tumbling down for Poppy and Luna Nozawa. Bold and the Beautiful made sure the sucker's new Poppy's apartment complex would soon be demolished. They also threw by enough word, so observers learned that Poppy and Luna's apartment was the last bone. Still enthralled. The cleaner didn't script this word in as a padding. It sounds like they set the stage, so the observers understand it's a vacated place moment. They've no neighbors, presumably no security guards, or anyone differently around their place. This makes it easy for someone to get in and store the packet poppies to set her up. But in the meantime, Bold and the Beautiful does a good job of making her look shamefaced. And they also use Luna Nozawa to do this. Bold and the beautiful spoilers what have you done, mommy dearest? When Katie Logan showed up criminating Poppy Nozawa of murder, the BNB suckers allowed. Katie acted just terrible. With so little to go on, that's a far brought blameworthiness for her to throw out there. But Luna Natsua's take on the pack was nearly shocking to hear on Bold and the beautiful. She incontinently started demanding that her mama, Poppy, tell her if she killed Tom Starr. What loving son could ask their mama this question? Luna blurted this out, not just formerly, but doubly. And she did so without vacillation. Suckers suggest this is awful, she's her son. But perhaps she knows commodity observers have yet to learn. So, it seems as if Luna Nozawa believes her mama is able of such a terrible act. Or she'd have asked her. And with that said, this doesn't say important for Poppy Nozawa. Sheila takes drastic measures, blackmailing Jack with Luna Biodad's secrets? The bold and the beautiful spoilers and updates tease Sheila Sharp faced a grueling situation as blame shifted towards her for the deaths of Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister. Nonetheless, with no concrete substantiation tying her to the tragedies, Deputy Chief Bradley Baker had no choice but to release her. The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Sheila Carter's no angel while Sheila may feel like she's trying to lead a peaceful actuality with Deacon Sharp and avoid any legal trouble, let's not kid ourselves she's no angel. With that in perspective, we've to suppose about the sneaky pushes she could pull off next. There's no chance she'll maintain this straight path ever, after all, she was a murderous miscreant for two numerous times. Likewise, the narrative has introduced Jack Finnegan as a possible suspect in this mystification, especially since he was present when Tom failed. Sheila had her son John Finn Finnegan when she had an affair with Jack times ago, he hid that for times, and there's a good chance there's more he's caching. B&B spoilers, Jack Finnegan knew Hollis and other intriguing connections The connection between Jack and Hollis has been stressed, sparking curiosity among observers as to their history with each other. BNB has dropped hints that Jack might be Luna Nozawa's real father, raising the question, is Jack apprehensive of this verity? To what lengths would Jack go to help this disclosure from surfacing, if he indeed really knows he's her father? Indeed, if Jack wasn't directly responsible for Hollis and Tom's fate, he could be shielding someone differently likely Finnegan or Poppy Nozawa. What if Sheila's knack for wiretapping leads her to a piece of indicting substantiation that Jack is hopeless to conceal? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Sheila Carter could listen in and learn, commodity shocking could Sheila be on the point of uncovering Jack's part in the situation or his sweats to cover another existent? 
the shocking disclosure of Luna's true lineage could serve as a precious log-rolling chip for Sheila, who's still searching for a way to connect with Finn. With Jack and Finn back on good terms, Sheila may see an occasion to exploit Jack to her advantage. By swinging Luna's maternity secret and Jack's implicit involvement in the ongoing riddle over his head, Sheila could manipulate Jack into aiding her in winning Finn's affection. It seems likely that Sheila will resort to her designing ways formerly more, so stay tuned for updates on her sneaky tactics to bond with Finn. Luna breaks up with RJ after learning what he told Katie. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate that Luna Nozawa just walked in on Katie Logan verbally attacking her mama at the house they partake with Bill Spencer. Luna indeed had to contend that Katie back off her mama and leave. Now RJ Forrester has added energy to the fire. Will Luna bring effects off with RJ when she learns what he told Katie? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Katie Logan is being illegal to Poppy Nozawa Luna came into the room to find out that Katie was criminating Poppy of murder. Katie has the idea that Luna is the one who killed not only Tom Starr but Paul Hollis Hollister. Why would Poppy want to murder anyone when she doesn't feel to have a mean bone in her body? Luna believes that Katie is overreacting to Poppy and her life of secrets. However, why in the world should Katie be? If Luna isn't still worried with her mama for keeping secrets. Luna's maternity isn't of Katie's business at all. Why does Katie feel that she has to write to come into their home and attack her? BMB spoilers, RJ Forrester has made matters worse after Luna claimed that Katie leave Bill's estate, Katie went straight to calling RJ to meet with her. Unfortunately, RJ chose to meet Katie who wanted answers about Poppy. RJ indeed went as far as to tell Katie about Poppy's medicine use. Still, he said that Poppy accidentally cured Luna. Poppy didn't medicine her, Luna took the wrong mints. Unfortunately, RJ actually caused Katie to dig her heels in indeed more. Katie incontinently jumped to the conclusion that Bill is in peril. Poppy has no way designedly hurt Bill unless she's lying about Luna's maternity, of course. Has RJ just put Luna's mama in the line of a police disquisition? The bold and the beautiful spoilers, Luna Nozawa calls it quits RJ and Luna had an agreement not to mention the mints or what happened because of them. Still, RJ broke his end of the bargain and has caused Katie to go on a full-fledged attack against her mama. How can Luna ever trust RJ again after what he has done? How could RJ bandy her private business? Luna may love RJ, but she has plotted with cheating on him for months. RJ took ever to forgive Luna for her solecism indeed though she was in no way responsible for what happened. Is Luna ready to move on after RJ released this information to his aunt? Can Luna ever forgive RJ or trust him again? Thence the real verity about Poppy's mint speaking to Soap Opera Digest in a new interview, actress Romy Park, who plays Poppy on the hit CBS Cleaner, admits that her character didn't like being brazened by her family Lil about her mint issue. The actress also opened up about her character's son Luna accidentally took some of her mints and ended up in bed with Zend rather than her swain, RJ. She said, I suppose that was necessary for what was to come in the story. It's part of the plot, because we just set up out, as it vented lately, that Tom has failed of a medicine overdose. And so, what medicines were they? Now, Poppy, I suppose it's illegal to say that she's a medicine addict, which I know some people have claimed, oh, she's a medicine addict. She stopped taking the mints, and I studied dependence, I went to academy for it. An addict can't stop just like that. It's a process, you know?